everyone. So today I'm going to be working on some stop whistle exercises with Ivy, specifically working on the run out towards a dummy. So let's give it a go and see how we get on. So we are using a few skills that we've already developed to help with this session. So one of them is the line out towards the white post. And I have previously done a video on her lining towards posts. So you might want to check that out if you're interested in that behavior. Um, so I just started off the session checking that she could respond to what is now quite a basic cue of going out and targeting that white post, which she got success with. So now on this repetition, I'm going to check that she can still stop on that run out towards the post, which she did. So I click and reward that. So then we do one more repetition like that, stopping her on the run out. And then I finish up by doing a final repetition here, just getting her to target the post and come back. And so the reason I do that is that I don't want her to get sticky in her post target behavior. So I don't want her to start predicting that every time she's sent, she's going to be stopped as that's gonna lose a bit of drive and enthusiasm on her run out, which I don't want. So every now and then I will throw in a repetition, which is to complete the full behavior without the stop whistle. Because that was successful, I'm now upping the ante and you'll see that I've thrown a dummy out. I'm gonna release her, but stop her halfway. But notice where I've positioned myself. So this is something that we actually did the week before this training session. Um, and I found initially that when I was sending her from my side to the dummy, she really, really struggled to stop. And so I found that by repositioning myself and putting myself between her and the dummy, the stop was more successful. And so we did a few repetitions of that before then moving on to this stage, which is where I'm sending her from my side towards the dummy and stopping her on that run out away from me. So I throw the item out and then I still wait for a little while to make sure she's steady, but there is definite hand let error on this repetition. So I will release her, but I blow my stop whistle too late and she ignores it. So that is my fault because I have transitioned from doing what was a relatively easy repetition previously to what is now a very difficult one. So I take the dummy off of her, no fuss. She's not rewarded for that repetition, but she's also not punished because that was my fault, not hers. So then what I do is I set the exercise up again, but this time you'll notice that I blow the stop whistle as soon as she leaves my side and we get success. So that gets clicked and rewarded. So that just goes to show how important it is to build up these exercises in incremental stages. I pushed it on too far, too quickly, and it didn't work. But then on this repetition, I just sent her out for a straight retrieve, so a nice clean run out, pick up and return. And again, that's just because I want to make sure that she doesn't get sticky in her run out and keep anticipating that she's gonna be stopped. So sometimes we throw in the odd clean retrieve how often you want to throw in those complete retrieves is really dependent on the dog. Some might need you to do it more frequently and others might not be as fussed. So let your dog lead you on that one. We then do one more repetition here, stopping her about halfway. And then we have a nice little play and a bit of a break. So then I set up one more stop on the run out and then one more clean retrieve and because this stop goes so well I decide we then are going to up the ante so I stop her a little bit later again in the sequence here and she stopped beautifully even though she was very close to her dummy and so big reward for that we then do one more clean retrieve before I add in another factor. So because I was getting reliable success with those exercises, I'm now introducing a second post and I'm going to be looking to line her, stop her on the run out and then redirect her 
to a different post and then progress it on to a different dummy. So I start out here by just refreshing her memory on the target of the post to the side with my outcast body language, which she's doing beautifully. But I just wanted to make sure that she was switched on and remembering that before I tried anything more challenging. I do that on both sides. And then I integrate those two exercises together. So I line and send for the post in front of us, stop her part way when she's in line with the other post. Got a bit of an excited bunny hop there, but wait for steadiness and then direct her to go around the post which was on her right. So that went well. So then we repeat the same exercise just using the other side. So she's getting the opportunity to be redirected both towards her left and right side. And then I repeat the same exercise, but this time introducing the dummy. So we're upping the ante because she's far more motivated to run out towards a dummy than she is the target post. So I throw a dummy out to each post. If you wanted to make it easier, you could just throw the dummy out to the post that you're gonna redirect to, but I thought she'd be able to cope with this. I line and send her, stop her halfway, and then redirect to the dummy on her right. Again, I then repeat the same exercise, just working the other side. So we've got two dummies out. I stop her part way and then send her for the dummy on her left. And then we finish the session by lining and sending her for the last dummy that is down, allowing her to pick that without being stopped. And she actually picked that and carried it all the way back without any drops. So I was really, really pleased with that as a final retrieve for the session. And then we called it a day because I was super impressed with how well she did with that session. Any errors were on my part, not hers. Um, so I was really, really pleased with that. For a dog that a couple of months ago I couldn't get to stop on the run out towards a target post, to just be able to now stop and redirect her on dummies is a big achievement for us. So I was really pleased with that. So now we'll just continue trying to work on proofing that behavior, adding in more complexities to this sort of setup. Then, as always, if anyone has any tips, advice or questions, please feel free to pop them in the comments. And thanks for watching!